So, I have a student who had a question about his red future. He can't seem to get it to work. And I can see the problem here. Um, what he has, a, you know, it's a very simple solution. He just needs to define a, a, you know, another plane in order for that rib to work. But let's talk about the rib and extrusions and thin extrudes first, because they're all kind of related. When you have a, a model, when you first start in a model, like maybe uh, with my uh, little box here, uh, if you do just a simple extrude, what you're doing is you're drawing enclosed geometry. I look at my sketch one, it's a closed geometry, and within that geometry is going to be substance, and we're defining the thickness of that. So the geometry is defined by the edges of the rectangle that we drew, and this rectangle is a square, as you can see with two sides being equal. And then we did an extrusion on it of a specific uh, thickness. So let's go to the rebuild button, you can see that, that's a simple extrude. And if you want to do a thin extrude, like with the next feature down here, what that does is it borrows that very same sketch, but with this extrude, what we're doing with that uh, with that sketch and with that extrude is that we're defining a thickness of that line. We're defining a thickness of that uh, six inch uh, square, and the only thing we're going to extrude is the thickness of that line, and then that extrudes out by a certain distance. So the thin extrude is defined by a tenth of an inch uh, thickness of that line. I could define whether the line's going to be uh, going to extrude to the outside of that line, whether you're going to get an extrusion to the inside of that line. So you can see the difference there. So that's a thin extrude. And then uh, a kind of a hybrid of that, if we uh, look at the thin extrude in one more way, what it is, I took that, uh, that uh, five-sided uh, cube in a way, and I can find, uh, put a plane right in the middle of that, and uh, if we were to put a uh, line in the middle of that, as you can see, uh, we can do a thin extrude on that. So the thing about a thin extrude is it's going to take that line, doesn't necessarily have to be in closed geometry, but it's going to take that line, we're going to define a thickness to that again, and then we're going to extrude it up in a certain direction. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to Features, uh, Extrude Boss Space is what we want to choose, but down here is you, you want to choose a thin feature. We have a couple different choices. We can do uh, a single direction on, the, on that extrude, uh, one direction. We can do mid-plane where it's going to extrude a tenth of an inch uh, with equal uh, distance on either side of that line. Or we can do two direction where you can find like maybe a tenth of an inch on one side, a tenth of an inch on the other side if you want to keep that symmetric or uh, any combination in between. So maybe uh, 0.2 and maybe 0.2, uh, 0.3 you know depending on the geometry conditions that you uh, are looking at. And if we do uh, the green chalk mark it'll extrude that out. But that may not necessarily be the direction we want to go to. So let's do one direction. Let's do point three. And let's uh, change the direction so it goes off to the other side. So we want to do uh, one direction. Uh, let's do mid-plane on that so it's symmetric about it. But let's go ahead and reverse uh, the direction on that. So it's going to be mid-plane. We're going to reverse the direction on our extrude by going up here to the direction one and we're going to make it go to the back. So we could do a blind extrude, but to kind of show you how a, uh, a rib works, what it's doing is it's like a going up to next. So when we do the thin extrude here, and we go to the up to next uh, option, it's going to go up to that surface and then stop. So it's going to be very similar to our rib. So if we go to the green check mark, it'll stop at that surface. Now think about a rib, what makes uh, the rib a little bit different from a thin extrude, kind of a hybrid of the thin extrude, uh, the thin feature when you do an extrude, is that it's not only going to take that line that uh, sketch two line and extrude it off to, to the next surface, but it's also going to extend the line to the next surface, uh, both to the left and right of that line. So in order for a rib to work, you need to have a surface in front of it, and you had, need to have a surface for the line, both to the left and right of that line. So let's go ahead and do that and uh, see how that works. Now that line isn't fully defined, and that's okay. We still have uh, some flexibility with it. Let's take that thin extrude and we're going to go ahead and uh, suppress that, but we're still going to use that sketch. So we're going to use that sketch on that line, and with that uh, we're going to go to Features and we're going to choose the rib. So we'll get out of that, but we're going to go to uh, going to go ahead and choose that sketch and go to the rib feature. So now with the rib feature, we're going to also make the thickness at 0.3 inches. And we're going to take a look at the, the direction of this. There's a couple different direction buttons in here. And these direction buttons will alternate it uh, by 90 degrees. So if we're to click on this button, you can see that it's going to be, it's going to take that rib and actually go down in that direction, go, go down to this corner. But we can change that direction 90 degrees, so now it's going to go into the back. That's the intended direction. We could also flip this uh, 180 degrees by going to this uh, chuck mark here. 
So now the rib will come out to, to this side, which it won't work because there's no up to neck surface over here. And then uh, if we were to do something like that, we'll go off to the top. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's go ahead and use this orientation. What it's going to do is it's going to take that one third of an inch uh, thickness of that line and extrude it off in this direction. So it's going to terminate in these two faces and it's going to extend the line to that face here and to that face there. So it kind of looks like a guillotine in a way if you want to take a, you know, consider it that way. But it kind of has that look and it kind of gives you a different perspective on how you can get uh, um, solid models uh, to look like that without a whole heck of a lot of work. You can uh, create a, um, you know, a, you know, an extrude in here that uh, kind of has a resemblance to what we're looking at here. So with that rib 3, let's go back and edit that and uh, again change its direction. So we're going to change it by 90 degrees. If we're to go out in this direction, it's not going to like it because there's no surface here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, flip it, uh, go in the other direction, and this would be the intended function of what we're trying to achieve here from the very beginning. So the green check mark, again that line extends up to that surface, extends down to that surface, and the extrude goes up to the next surface over here, to that surface into that. So that's the way a rib works. Let's go back to uh, uh, Bellows model here and see what he did. So what he did is he put a um, he put his uh, sketches for his rib already on a, on a plane here so he really has no plane to go up to next to when he does his extrude. So the way to correct this, if we go to uh, sketch 11, let's go ahead and rebuild that. Right click in sketch 11, go to edit sketch plane. Let's uh, define a new plane, a new surface. And what I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and use this surface here. So uh, it could be that surface or this surface. I believe uh, with the shell feature it's all going to be the same surface. And we're going to go to the green check mark. So now we have these uh, lines on a different surface. So now these lines have the ability, if we were to go back into that sketch, the li these lines have the ability to stretch, to complete the line. It will go to this surface over here. It's already completed over here, so the line doesn't need to stretch to any of these surfaces over here by the by the switch hole cut. But it's also going to extend down, uh, or it's going to the extrude is going to extend uh, to this surface ultimately. So the line's going to stretch out to that uh, back surface. It's going to stretch out to the surface where that uh, boss for the hole is going to be, and the hole extrude is going to extrude that surface. So without any more talk, let's go ahead and do that. If we go to features, we're going to go to rib. And with a proper rib definitions in here, uh, I believe it's a tenth of an inch, and we want to get a, 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 a draft on that. I think the draft angle may have been two or three degrees. If we go to the green check mark, it'll go ahead and complete that. So you notice it completed the line here, completed the line here, and it extended uh, the rib uh, to that surface and put the draft in there. So that's how you do it. So thanks for joining me. Uh, please look for me in other videos.